We did this. We did this last night as well. And I said, I said, well, obviously, obviously, Greta needs to explain this because this is her baby. And she was like, no, 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 no. Trevor decides. Trevor tells the story. So, uh, yeah, it had nothing to do with Greta. It was all my idea. Um, and uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't my idea. It was Greta's idea. She decided that I'm coming to this castle party. I have this castle party down south. Coming to Paris. And to kind of an introduction uh, for the people who go to the castle party, uh, and to introduce me to the amazing artist Boyasan, uh, to come together to create an artwork that represents kind of my journey in the space, um, and also to to bring uh, Boyasan into the, the this amazing exhibition. And it's been kind of a, just a brilliant journey since then, working with Boyasan, who is a freaking genius. And uh, I'll let him take it from here. Thank you very much. Well. When, when Greta, we, we have worked for two years now, uh, she has been curating my work sometimes, and uh, she knew that I was a real big fan of Trevor. So uh, when she told me if I was uh, available for uh, work with Trevor Jones, was like, she was asking me, uh, are you available to play a little game with uh, Michael Jordan? So I said, of course I am, I am. And uh, since there, uh, we uh, initiated the work, and uh, I want to thank you very much, Trevor and uh, Greta, for this opportunity because uh, I really enjoyed uh, working on this piece. It was a pleasure. Uh, I always wanted to open uh, Trevor Jones solo exhibition because uh, I'm a big fan of Trevor Jones, and also Buyasan. And I heard the news that he's opening the Cassie Party in France, and we are uh, the one of the first it is to art gallery in Europe. So how come we, if we miss him, it, it's a crime for me. So we have to open his exhibition, and thanks to him, he allowed me to open his solo show and always uh, showcasing his own artwork. And plus, we needed a new artworks, but I know he was very busy. And my idea is, how about we make a collaboration out of his all uh, other artwork and making a new artwork through the Bitcoin Angel. So that was the idea coming from. And this John you're watching is actually Bitcoin Angel. Came from uh, the Benini Italian sculpture, yeah, the Ecstasy of Teresa. And then also we moved to Bitcoin Angel from the Trevor Jones and uh, Buyasan also remade his own version. So this is the time, uh, let's say, timeless history pieces that, that I love. And of course, I love all this Trevor Jones artwork. I just wanted to make an art historical point here. So. We can see the builders, we can see the creators, we can see the collectors, we can see the community, we can see brands, and we can see the regulators. What do you think is the role of creators in this whole big society? Okay, I get the question, and I'll be completely honest with you. I don't care. I don't care. Look, you know, I, I was a, a traditional painter in the traditional art world for a number of years before. I came into this space, um, you know, it, the, the space blew up. I met amazing people. I, I made the best friends. Uh, I've had the best collaborations. I work with exciting, talented people. I have a group of collectors that, that like my work and support me. I, I, I'm living the artist's dream. And people say, you know, what, what's your, you know, your forecast? What do you think the futures of this is going to look like? What's your speculation? It's like, my job as an artist is not to speculate. My job is, is to create work that excites me and hopefully represents the, the space, the community, and, and that the, the collectors hopefully like as well. I don't care about you know, speculation. I don't. You know, it's like, it's not, I'm an artist, I'm not a speculator. And what do you think? Uh, well, uh, I think the uh, history of art has always been uh, related to the uh, history of technology. And uh, each time the technology evolves, the arts evolve. And as an artist, uh, if you want to be creative and innovative, you have to use the latest technology. It always has been uh, true for uh, like uh, the, the painters or the sculptors, they, they use new tools and they, and they make the art evolve. And I think Web3 is the latest tool that you can use with the computer graphics. And uh, Trevor is a great example of what, where you can bring uh, the, the today art 
to the more modern form. And I think this is very interesting, very interesting time. I, I agree. I think, you know, as, as artists, and that's what this space brings, is the, the connections. More so that I never had these connections in the traditional art world. I, you know, I felt quite isolated as a, as a painter. And then in this space, the whole world opens up and, and there's so many talented people who are excited to, to, to do things, who have different skills, different abilities, different tool sets. And, and so for me, I'm so focused on doing exciting, crazy things that I don't really think about the future. I'm more, I'm more interested in the, fu in, the, in the present right now. Uh, me. Uh, for me, I'm totally with Trevor that I really don't care about <laughs> uh, other people's thoughts. For me, being myself, actually the crypto scene, that's why the reason, that's the reason why I study here because that's the place that I can really be myself. Other Web2 and other society that we're living in, we have more thicker masks, but here, just being myself, and we have cool friends and cool things happening. So just be yourself, be humble, and always talking about other people. When you make something, you always have someone to help you, you know? Always mentioning it. So for me, just a few things. We have to tag somebody to making it together. I think this is the thing. Otherwise, just be yourself. It's, I don't know, it's kind of blurry answer, but that's the thing I want to tell you. Thank you. Thank you, Breda, and I totally agree. Um, and I, I think also like one amazing part of Web3 is like it's a really collaborative environment. You see the artists helping other artists. You see the collectors helping the artists. You see the artists helping the collectors. You see the community helping here and there. So it's a really a, um, a collaborative environment. And that's sort of also a new experience that I had when I started to work in this ecosystem. Okay, so final question. Actually, I think um, you have already touched a little bit upon it. Um, you are all like very successful artists in traditional world and also in crypto art, so yay. And uh, Greta, you are a very successful curator. I mean, like uh, if you come to Paris and you talk about like crypto art, there is no one that don't know you. Um, so if you would share a few tips to incoming artists into the crypto art ecosystem uh, maybe like a one or two or three like uh, as many as you want what would that be <laughs> okay Ladies first. Uh, for me as a curator uh, thanks to all my friends and Trevor and uh, Bria San uh, yeah I am really loved I, I feel that I'm so thankful that I, I can have a uh, good exhibitions like Trevor Jones and uh, cool cool artworks the thing is I think I it's the same question and same answer that I told you it's always mentioning other people so there's a Korean saying that if you want to go up you always spotlight other people then if other people are going up then you are automatically going up so for me this is my instinct that if I make something, if I do something, I always mention thanks to Trevor, thanks to Kuya san thanks to John, so it means I'm not alone, always doing it together, so don't be afraid if you, of course, what you make is important, but please don't mention only about you, you know, always mentioning other people who are involving, who are inspired by you, you know, then these people we don't know who's gonna get bigger or you know who's gonna get you know what what. So I think this is the key that I can yeah I can say. Sure. Um, be authentic, be honest, be truthful, because people see people see what. They see through, you know, and, and in IRL events and even online, you can see who's in the space and what their agenda and motivations are. So do the right thing. Associate with other people who are good, doing good things, here for the community, building, um, are honest, aren't pulling the rug or trying to do any scams, you know, and, and you find that group of people, that those friends, they, they become very close friends. and and you work together, and I've always said, or I've been saying for the last few years, that like this space is, is volatile, it's like up and down, and there's scams and there's bad actors, and there's, but there's a lot of great people too. And I've always looked at the, the long, played the long game. So 
you know, right now it's it's been a few years really. 2021 was been crazy, but I think you know, five years, eight years, ten years, when that good group of people are still working together and doing great work and building that they will become that beacon of light for other people who are watching to see, okay, that's how you do it. That's that's what this is about. It's it's building on a, a solid platform and 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 you know with a good group of friends and and you share that in that and, and you all benefit and you all you know uh, rise up because of, of all the work you do together and that's it's 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 not rocket science. It's you know it's not rocket science. Yeah, uh, if if I had an advice, it would be uh, do what you like and uh, and, and do it uh, as you think it's hard because uh, if if it's if you do something you don't like, it will be hard directly and you won't succeed. If you do something you like, uh, you will have pleasure. And if you do it till you think it's hard, it means you're learning something and that you're evolving to the next level. Uh, so do it something you like, do it hard with no expectation, and it it will pay by itself at your at your level. I think. Just last thing I wanted to say is uh, for emerging artists, starting artists, they're really fragile. They feel really fragile, so they want to start what's trendy. But this is actually not a good way because here these artists they started. Uh, what from what they like? There's what is the famous AI or stuff like that? No, don't, don't, yeah, don't feel you know fragile. Just uh, if you, yeah, if you trust your style, then keep doing it. Be yourself. Yeah, I'll add to that. Exactly. Good point. Mm -hmm.